My dad's first custom quadcopter build. May 2022. FPV components he used in this build. Frame QAVS Johnny FPV Special Edition 5 inch. Flight controller and ESC Diatone Mamba DGI F722 MK2 55 amps combo stack. Motors iFlight Zing E Pro. 2208, 1800 KV, 6S. FPV camera and video system. Cadex Nebula Pro and Vista unit. Receiver. TBS Crossfire Nano plus Immortal T antenna, special edition. GPS and compass. HGLRC M80 Pro GPS. Installing iFlight Zing E Pro 2208 1800 KV motors. Time to solder wires to the XT60 connector. XT60 cable is done. Looking clean. Dad has decided to go with custom sleeving for the motor wires. Nylon tubing for the sleeves, and some heat shrink to hold it in place. He's used strong double-sided tape at the bottom of the nylon sleeves. That's done. Let's put some zip ties to secure it temporarily.
time to prep ESC pads for motor wire soldering. He's already connected capacitor and the XT60 to the ESC. He is installing Vista unit and its antenna. Looking good. Just enough room behind that large capacitor. These are the wires for connection between the flight controller and the Vista unit. Two wires, ground and S-bus, are not needed now. Those are for DJI air unit only. Prepping Vista connection wire ends. Soldering four wires to the Vista unit. RX, TX, ground, and VCC. Important. TX on Vista unit should be connected to RX on the flight controller. And RX on Vista unit should be connected to TX on the FC. Time to check our connections with multimeter. Success! All good. Quad won't fly without the receiver. Dad's using TBS Crossfire Nano RX. With a Mortal T antenna, of course. Prepping wire ends again. This is very important. Using Captain Tape, high temperature tolerant polyamide film, withstands 200 to 300 Celsius degrees. He likes to use it to protect components from hot soldering iron tip. Looking neat. He likes to twist these wires a bit because this makes thin wires stronger. Putting a heat shrink over the Crossfire RX Nano board. Sticking the Captain tape again to protect the rest of the RX. Soldering Crossfire Nano wires to the flight controller. Checking connections with multimeter again. All seems to be in great order. Time to organize that XT60, capacitor, and Vista unit little better. Thank <laughs> you.
Soft mounting Vista unit to avoid unnecessary vibrations. He's decided to mount a Mortal T antenna at the bottom of the frame. Nice 3D printed TPU will definitely help to hold it in place. Tinkercad is god given for 3D modeling stuff like this. My dad loves it. looks incredibly clean. He is super, super, super happy. Okay, time has come. Finally soldering motor wires to the ESC. One side is done, two motors connected. Time to do the other side. Remaining two motors. Mandatory multimeter check should never be avoided. For now, Dad has decided to go with funky looking neon zip ties. It's not going to stay like that. He's planning something else for later. Much better solution.
time to connect our GPS unit. HGLRC M80 Pro. Unfortunately, Dad has to reorganize XC60 and Vista unit placement at the back of the frame. He wants to have clean room for GPS wires, so nothing is touching them. Obstructed wires, never good for a GPS signal. Multimeter check. Should we stress even more how important that is? Everyone likes to see nice arm guards. We do too. Beauty! I like it. Picasso. And this. This is my dad's 3D modeling work of art. GPS and Vista antenna holder. Let's send his 3D model to Rotor Village for 3D printing. It's here! Amazing! He couldn't be any happier with printed TPU mount. Time to install Vista unit antenna and GPS inside this holder.
have to connect Vista antenna to the Vista unit. This will look real nice when it's done. Let's put this baby back together. Is it weird that he is in love with this? He said butterflies are in his stomach. Um, okay. Time to come up with some nice Hero 8 mount for QAVS Johnny FPV Special Edition. Once again, Amazing Rotor Village 3D printed this for us. Boy, is he happy with the results. Thank you for watching!